That's where you are. Good afternoon, Nompu. Yes, indeed, there are uh, striking workers uh, just a few kilometers from where we are, uh, really just complaining about the fact that their salaries have not been increased to be on par with a recent upgrade of the municipality. Now, we understand that municipalities are graded according to their size, and this municipality, the Steve Tretter municipality, to be exact, was at scale four and was moved up to a six to receive a grading of six. Now these workers have been up in arms and this has resulted in um, a, a standstill in terms of service delivery. Uh, we've seen uh, there is sewer in the streets, uh, garbage and refuse collection has actually come to a grinding halt. Uh, earlier this week you would have seen a march that was led by the EFF and this was actually prompted by this very strike because work uh, community members rather, rather were really unhappy with the fact that they are paying for a rates and services, and yet they are not getting any services, they're not getting any water. We heard some community members uh, from informal settlements saying that they haven't uh, had seen services in a very long time and haven't had water for long, for days on end. Now, I'm not alone here. I'm joined by the Steve Treader uh, Executive Mayor, who's going to be giving us a sense of what is happening and what, uh, the, the, what sort of contingency plans that the municipality has or it will be putting in place in terms of addressing some of these challenges. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to us, uh, Mayor. Uh, we really appreciate you making the time to speak to us. Now, we've heard the workers saying that the municipality was upgraded uh, to grade six. Is it indeed upgraded? Is this true? And if so, why haven't the salaries of the workers been brought on par with this upgrading? Greetings to SABC and greetings to listeners at home. We are indeed uh, in consultation with the workforce of which the municipality has in principle agreed to their proposal of which the council has resolved that the municipal manager will have to communicate with Salga to get a concurrence to agree in other words that we should upgrade these municipal workers to the next level whereby their interest is because of that is now the level of the bargaining council and salga that can give us a direction okay so what i hear you saying is that the municipality has indeed been uh, upgraded to level six but why has it taken it why has it taken so long for the municipality to actually even interact or engage with these striking workers we understand that this week is week six of that particular strike and in the meantime it's the community members who are suffering who have to live with the stench of uh, sewer in the streets. Yes, hence I say that uh, we wish that we were given that mandate. If that mandate was given to us in writing, we could have long responded to their queries. They've got genuine queries, but unfortunately our hands are tied. Hence I say that it's a matter that the Salga and the bargaining council should give any municipality like ourselves, a go ahead as a mandate to upgrade them to that level, or to upgrade the municipality rather to the grade that they want to get at. Okay, and, 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 and have there been any communication between yourselves and those striking workers? We understand that, you know, they've been ignored and they feel like they've been ignored. And, I mean, at the same time, like I've said, the people who are suffering here are community members. Were there any contingency plans on the municipality's part to try and ensure that services continue uninterrupted for community members who are now complaining and who have even gone as far as taking to the streets in order to get those services? Services, those basic services that they need? It is unfortunate. We want to apologize to the rate payers, which is our communities, for what is happening here on the ground. Consultation processes are real on with the workers, even including their provincial representatives of SAMU, COSATU, so that we must because we talk to them to find a long-lasting solution. We are looking at that. Our constituency plans are there in the main to address the issue on electricity and water, which you cannot have a community without water. That by itself, it comes, it gets the steps, but we fix and watch where people get water and electricity. 
people are calling for um, better communication from the municipality um, in terms of when water will be restored and so on. I mean, if you say there are contingency plans, why is it that there are still community members complaining and bemoaning the fact that they've been without water? I mean, and this is just a few days to the local government elections. Do you, are you not afraid that this could affect the ANC's um, performance in the next upcoming elections? It's a worrisome factor, that's true, but if we can go to our taps, water is running. Water is there full swing. We don't have a challenge on that one. Well, in some other farming areas, maybe, like the area where we're coming from, from Dorongop, there we use electricity to pump water and to fill our our, stem, our elevated tanks and the reservoirs. But due to this challenge, it becomes a problem to get water out there. So if Wasme load shedding is going to be, Wasme to, to, to be going, we will definitely have water running in those areas. But where we are seated now, the water has been, has been, Wasme has been coming very clearly Wasme out of our taps. Okay, okay, and finally, and finally, just um, the memorandum of demands that was handed over, there's a huge community contingency that actually came through uh, to complain about the fact that they haven't had water. But I'm hearing that I have to hand work to studio in Johannesburg. Um, there you have it, that is the mayor of Steve Trete uh, just speaking to us about the issue and the strike uh, that is still underway. And we understand that some of the workers are still out in the streets. We drove past the area where they are protesting. They are still there. There is still sewage in the streets. There is still, services are still interrupted and there are no services in this area in Steve Trete, in the Steve Trete municipality just days before the local government elections. It's back to you, Studio.